Welcome back to DIYGaskets.com. Today we're going to show you how to do the install on this bolt-on style gasket that we were talking about earlier in the other video. And as you can see, this thing's completely started to split apart. It's a little old and mold and dusty. Things ready to go. Uh, you can see the channel going all the way around and they're using a quarter inch um, hex head screw going all the way around. Uh, this particular type of gasket, if, it, if, it's, if it's possible, go ahead and remove the door. Make life a lot easier than trying to kneel down and get all in there. And you'll see this thing pops out pretty easy. There's a small hole here. And that's what this will go into when you go to put it back on. And again, these uh, you get three screws, one, two, three here. And this goes up into a little seat up in there. Now once you've got it unseated and find yourself a nice little work area, you make sure you've got plenty of room. You're going to want to go ahead and match up that gasket again, make sure it's the correct size. Again, you don't want to go ahead and pull this whole thing apart and realize later that it's the wrong size. There you go. Top to top, or side to side rather. Top to bottom, looks pretty good. And it's square all the way around. Now this is where it takes a little bit of uh, know-how or just uh, patience. You're going to want to be pretty methodical about this, starting in one corner. Again, when they get to this point, you're going to want to replace them anyway, so go ahead and buy yourself a pack from the hardware store. Now, okay, this is the kind of tricky part. You want to pull just the one corner off. And as you can see, I've only taken out one, two, three, four screws to start with, okay? Clean out the seat or the track. This metal retainer here is what uh, keeps it all on, so try not to bend it. And again, you see the seat screw where this is in here, you don't want to go ripping stuff out because then you're never going to be able to get back in there. Okay, that's pretty good. So what I'll do is I'll come across the bottom here removing all but one screw. The reason for leaving the one screw is it just becomes kind of tedious to try to fit it all back together without the guidance of that, uh, that track. So peel this guy back a little bit. Again, make sure it's as clean as possible. Get rid of all that gunk down there because that'll eat away at the gasket. Bacteria, nasty. Now, we got our gasket that we pre-measured, so we know it's the correct size. This part right here, the little flap I was talking about earlier, kind of open that thing up a little bit. Go ahead and seat that corner in. So that's where you start to see where the track and the gasket meet together. Nice tight fit. It's in the channel all the way down here. Removing corner number three. Working our way down the track. And once again, leaving the final screw in the corner. So now we're going to go for corner number three, going ahead and peeling this back, putting the seat in. And then filling back into these other screws. There you go. Okay, now we have all three corners. Over here, all finishing complete. We're going to be down to the final corner, fitting that in. This is probably the trickier part of the entire operation. Now you're going to have to stretch it over and make sure that it's uh, taut and underneath. So this little piece right here, like we were talking about before, kind of peel that back a bit. Remove that screw. Now this one gets a little tricky because you kind of 
try to peel it back a little bit without trying to tear it. So I pick the one end up, get it seated. Same thing with the other. Try not to bend anything as far as the metal goes. I'm sure in the metal is kind of hard to work with. They can be replaced, but there we go. So you see it kind of snugs in the corner there. Start so putting our final screws in here. And once again, making sure the corner is seated properly first before moving on to the centers. As you can see, nice tight fit all the way around. Another thing we'll have to do is set it back up on the door. Up under here, you'll see a little hole. You can see how it kind of goes in there and it's kind of set. Then, you gotta lift the door up, and just align the screws. Don't tighten them down all the way. Get them seated. Then, after you know it's nice and seated, check your door. See if we're closing, see if it's not banging into the other door, which we're not, which is a good thing. You can always adjust it back and forth from there. Now that that's okay, let's go ahead and complete the tightening process. Easy, easy. Then, once you're there, just like the other gaskets, you'll go ahead and take your heat gun. I'm gonna go inside here. To ensure we're getting a nice seat. As you can see, we're getting a seal. It's, uh, the door's closing, we're good to go. We're just ensuring a nice little seal.